Hey guys, this is uh, low T with a few things thrown in there. So when I do this, you're going to see interesting video before this, but uh, low T, man. I'll show you pictures of all this stuff. And if you guys have been following, I made altercations on the stove. The piazzo didn't work. Uh, let's get this cranked up now. cranking, stainless steel Irish tea pot, some uh, actually Turkish Earl Grey is in there. Done, they're good, it's burning good. Um, I took the piazza off of there. So, English Iron, iron Stone. Um, you're going to see this in the pictures, close ups on the bottom all you people from Stokes. Um, let me show you that. I have two other cups that are, you know, well printed. And, you know, about it. this is just, you know, it's printed on the bottom. This is uh, Iron Stone, English Ironstone, England has the letter D on it. I'm not going to show you here because I have closer, better pictures for it. You're going to see it in the whole video. So, shouldn't take too long. It's not, uh, now the stove is functioning good after I uh, took the piazza off. But, you know, I did that. The last video I did a review on it. Um, this here, I found, it looks like, uh, I don't know if it's antler or bone. kind of looks like antler. An old English knife. Um, you'll see close to this, too. It says, Alfred Williams, Rivington, Yorks. Sheffield, England. So, takes a decent edge. It, it's not good for the frill rod. Um, so there you go. Just a little tidbit thrown in there. Um, the pothole I made from wool. Show pictures of what I'm eating here. Um, Belgian waffle cookies, chocolate zucchini bread made by my daughter-in-law. So, EDC once again to get this fire going. This only costs like two bucks. This girl, right? This is a, a man Portuguese knife. Um, over here is my. You're gonna see pictures of this too. My no-two stove. Much heavier, but I tend to like the remote, the remote stoves. Um, you can see pictures of this too. This is about four ounces. That what I'm using there is about three and a half ounces. This has a better footprint, more stability. Got this a hardware store in North Country when I was up there. It's a gas one. All right, you're going to see, turn this down, shutting the stove off. Okay, we're going to have some tea, man. Um, did I plan on doing low tea today? Did I plan on having low tea today? Absolutely. Did I plan on doing a low tea today? No. So I figured I'd set up here. My son-in-law's in here. We're going to do some knots and... Uh, ropes for tarps and stuff this afternoon. I need to practice. He needs to practice. Go on my uh, website. I may be doing it in some things, but I, I got like Corporal's Corner and another guy with some gear. You, you'll, you'll see on there if you look on there, tarps and pegs. Um, they're good with the knots. My father was the best. He'd put them all to shame. But uh, I'm going to pour some tea now. Oh yeah, look at that. Come on. Pouring it high, cooling it as it goes down. Using this ironstone here. 
Of course, the bone china cools off nice. I kind of like the bone china. You know? so, but, uh, I'm going to take this off of there. Don't need this. So the fix worked good on it. Stove's working good. Don't need that stinking piazza. But uh, yeah, I also got some hanks of cord. I got had a big bunch. I got that ready. Some bow lines on it. Uh, of course, we might have to have a little tea out of this, man. And we'll do it right now. Of course, yeah. We'll uh, pour some in our. It's not bone china, not iron stone. Oh yeah. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see here. Whoa, Jack. Ha. So, yeah, just a couple things. I tend to like the remote um, stoves. Very stable. Spread. This is not a stove review. I've used this in one of my Canteen Cup Tuesdays. I tried it out. But this kind of folds in. And these, these legs on here, they fold. Also. <clears throat> but to use it properly, you have to fold these out. Or these legs won't line up to hit the line. But, I think they're a lot safer. Heat's not underneath. You put some big pots on there. Um, I know it's Canteen Cup Tuesday, but we're doing bushcraft stuff. Backpack, whatever. Um, what happened on that piazza is the... I'll show you here. The... Not this one, but the filament. That white filament in there was, was cracked. And there's like a... So there was a silicone sleeve on there keeping it together. So it would get the charge, but not the spark. So when I took it apart, it would spark. But, but this, this filament was broke. That's why I wasn't getting the spark. But I took the whole thing off. Um, not a problem. But uh, I think this note, this is a fine stove. Used it before. And I'll use it again, too. But... Do you need the small little stoves? Absolutely. Um, should you scrimp? No. You know, get it. Make sure it works good. Test it out. As if you're going out there for a long time, you want that. And again, use an Esbit stove as a, a backup. You can burn wood. You can burn solid fuel, whatever. And some people like alcohol, but you have to, you know, you have to bring enough fuel. So here we go, man. Let's try the tea first. Lovely. There's going to be some nice pictures in here of uh, some sheep and uh, and you'll see this ironstone close up. So if you're from Stokes or wherever you are, or you collect this stuff, um, you'll know what it is. But, Mm. Oh, damn. I know if you're sitting in your estate somewhere, this ain't going to cost a mustard. But that's okay. Get out in the back. Sit down with your gardener. Sit down with your friends. Sit down with the <laughs> damn <old> gypsies. <laughs> Afternoon tea. Afternoon tea, my wife and I have it all the time. Oh. <laughs> have it in the morning, too. Evening. <laughs> but. Like my little teapots. <laughs> mm. Good stuff. The weather seems to be cooling off. We're going to get rain. I was thinking about camping out tomorrow night. I haven't been to my, my fort. Hobo camp in a while. Uh, think about setting up tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. It's supposed to rain, storm come, but it, that would test certain things. Uh, it's been holding up really well. We had several storms. My uh, son in law said it's fine. But yeah, we got some nice uh, tea here. Um, the angle of the camera is not showing the pattern on here, but the pictures are very good on this. So. 
pretty good. I'm kind of liking this. I, I think I'll probably do, I have at least two more cups that are very defined that I could do a low tea with. Um, over that way, about a block away, someone has a whole garage full of old English china. They want like six bucks a place setting, which they don't want to spend. But I'm going to go back. If they ever have a tag sale again, if they still have it, I'll hit them up a little bit. We can, we can go with this. Hmm. That's the way to go, man. I don't care what you're doing. Don't drink your tea in styrofoam cups, man. Don't ever do that. That's bad. So, canteen cup, that's fine. Thinking about the next time I do a do a tea, take my canteen cup, put the Pathfinder lid on it, boil the tea right in there, then use that, and uh, we'll be good to go. This is fine. Last time I said I was at uh, Battle of Hastings, was I in the Battle of Epping Forest? I don't know, was that the 1st or 5th? I don't know. Battle of Epping Forest? I think that's an old Genesis song. But, uh, Battle of Epping Forest. And they go on and on. Genesis, good group. Uh, Michael Collins, I think, was in it at the time. I know I'm a little whacked out. That's all right. Uh, that's cool. But, yeah, that's good. And this is good, too. Mm. You know, in the wooden cup, well, I, I think the flavor is better with the iron stone or bone china, but uh, it's good too. It's, it'll burn your mouth off. Mm. That's good. Belgian waffle cookies, cookies from Belgium. Mm. Pretty good, man. So, did I diversify a little bit? Yeah, we're off track to do a little bit of everything. Stove seem to work pretty good. Um, what it says to me is those piazzos can be sensitive. The filaments on there you're handling, but you know, when, when you're out there, whether you're a backpack or bush grabbing, whatever you're doing, and you're using these stoves, um, there's a chance you can break that filament. So, you know, if you've got a ferro rod, matches, whatever, that's fine. Always carry backup. I like Esbit. Backup for everything. But, uh, either Esbit or Esbit type stove, regular size, smaller size. Because you can do a lot with it. And as far as, uh, fires go, they say no fires. Uh, look what's happened in California, or uh, I think north of Manchester had a big fire. Um, maybe other parts of Europe too. I don't know. California, what a mess! It says don't make fires, don't make fires. And alcohol stoves, though they're nice and I like them and I've used them in extreme cold weather, and I I will do that. Um, if it says no fires and it's dry, man, you better be careful because you can tip them over and that alcohol spills. So, but, uh, oh yeah, baby. That's a sweet sound, man. That's a sweet sound, man. Got Maggie right here, man, my dog. Come here, come here, Maggie. A little pup, she's a beauty, yeah. Otherwise known as popcorn. This is Maggie, she's a cool pup. Yeah, it's a beautiful dog. If I wasn't watching, she'd be scoffing all this stuff up. But uh, she's a beautiful pup, beautiful pup. So, hey, this is uh, Quinny Eskimo, um, low T. Doing a low T. I'm, I plan to do a couple more if I get my hands on some more. Uh, so I have, a, have some nicer cups. Uh, we'll, we'll check that out for you people who are interested in that. But uh, and for MB, 
know what I'm talking about. He's saying people like to look at the bottom of the cups and stuff. I do too. But, uh, yeah. She's, she's my baby. She's a good girl. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So this is uh, Queen the Eskimo. A little finger there messed up when I was taking the Piazza off. A little messed up. No Band-Aid. But it is messed up. But, uh, hey, have a good day. God bless. I'll see you. And I'm going to finish my tea and my stuff here, man. And back, just as a little postscript, a little correction, it was uh, Phil Collins I was talking about. And uh, actually, I'm going to be doing some knots now with my grandson, not my son-in-law. So, just want to clarify that. Tough when you're getting old, man. You know, we're still kicking. Take care.